A string of robberies overnight leaves some victims shaken up and one of the suspects facing a string of charges. KMTV Action 3 News reporter Deborah Tuff tells us how one of the victims' stories had a happy ending. Deb. It did, Drea, and I want to actually show our viewers something a little bit. Take a look at this. Here's Maurice Lampkin, one of the suspects caught, caught cornered, then caught in North O last night. Now, there are still others out there, but for now, the victims can rest a little bit easier. Take a look. Our cameras were rolling when this happened. It was out on 24th. I figured uh, I seen the license and the cards. It was sprawled about, so I, I thought I'd bring it to you. A good Samaritan who declined an interview found 77-year-old James Chambers wallet. He was on his way to cancel his cards. That's a load off my mind because I was worried about my bank cards. And, uh, everything seems to be here. This was after Mr. Chambers was robbed at gunpoint. I thought it was just uh, some kids coming down the alley or coming out of that lot over there. He was putting his car into this garage at 19th and Wirt. But then they kind of surrounded my car, and one of them had a gun on the driver's side here. I rolled down my window, asked them what they wanted, and they said, uh, your wallet. And that's what alarmed her when, you know, she heard that. They About were, so 20 they minutes later, the robbers me. went to 18th and Evans. Uh, get a job, you know, and, and these are senior citizens. A lot Carolyn of Holmes' 72-year-old aunt Margaret Lindsay lives there. She proceeded to open up the door. Two men were standing there, young men were standing there, and she told them, she said, no, the, the other guy said, shoot her. She said, you mean you're going to shoot me? And she said at that time she told him, you go in and I'm going out. And that's exactly what they did. That was at 956 Sunday night. At 1029, they went to a house on 16th and Lathrop. That's where one of the suspects was chased down by a victim and caught by police. Still, Mr. Chambers and Miss Lindsay are staying vigilant. Well, first of all, I'm going to put the car in earlier. I'm not going to wait till late at night. She's not going to leave her house. She's going to, you know, get more security. She's going to add some uh, motion lights to her house. After the third house, the Bucky's on North 72nd was also robbed, held a, uh, with, by a gun, and the suspects got away with cash. Now the remaining suspects are two black males in their teens or 20s, described as very short and thin. If you have any information, you're encouraged to call Crime Stoppers at 444-STOP. Now as for Lincoln, he faces several charges, including trying to use a gun to commit a felony. Live from North O, Deborah Tuff, KMTV Action 3 News Midday.